Daniel Rock 08 back again on our video. This time it is WWF Royal Rumble live in New Orleans. Let's get to it. This is, in my opinion, one of the finest, one of the best damn overall pay per views in WWF slash WWE history. If you look back at my top 25 greatest pay per views list, you would see that I gave it probably number 12, number 13, I believe. A very fine, very fine pay-per-view. In fact, the first three WWF pay-per-views are, in my opinion, some of the greatest shows of all time. In fact, all three of those shows, Warrior Rumble, No Way Out, and WrestleMania 17, are probably in my top 15. So, let's get to it. We start out with the Dudley Boys defeating Edge and Christian in a World Tag Team title match. Yes, so after going through a tables match and going through a triangle ladder match and cage matches and then the tables, ladders, and chairs matches, how do you follow it up? Well, you just have a normal tag team title match, right? Yes. So... You would think, well, shit, these guys don't have a gimmick match. Can this match be good? Can these two teams, and maybe the Hardy Boys, can two of these three teams, can they perform a good match that's not a gimmick match? And boy, howdy, let me tell you something. This is a very good, fine, normal world tag team title match with the Dudley Boys going over against Edge and Christian. This is a good match match. A 7 out of 10 and yeah it's not like the tables match from Warrior Rumble 2000 with Dudley's and the Hardys. It's not like the ladder match from No Mercy 99 with Edge and Christian and the Hardys or the triangle ladder match with all three of them but still this proves that they can go and work a solid match without a gimmick. A 7 out of 10. Next up we have one of the Finest ladder matches I've ever damn well seen. It's just too damn bad we can't remember it. It's damn shame we are not supposed to remember it. We have Chris Jericho defeating Chris Benoit in a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. This is one of the finest ladder matches ever. And in my personal opinion, of every single ladder match there is, and that goes entirely, including... TLCs, and Money in the Banks, and multi-man ladder matches, and all those type of ladder matches. Every ladder match, including the spinoffs, this is easily a top five ladder match. This is right up there with Triple H and The Rock. Right up there. Right up there with the triangle ladder match from WrestleMania 2000, and right up there with Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon from 10. WrestleMania 10. This is a phenomenal Five-star ladder match. Chris Benoit does the suicide dive with Chris Jericho. Whacks him right in the fucking head with a steel chair. And quite frankly, after watching it, it's very cringy. And it makes you sick to your stomach. And it makes you uneasy. Because then you have to think, God damn it, we are not supposed to remember that guy because of what happened. But still, this is a great match. One of the finest ladder matches you're going to find. A top five ladder match, in my opinion. Five stars. A 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the only shitty thing about this show. The only shitty thing. And this is the one bad thing that keeps this show from being probably the greatest show of all time, honestly. It's Ivory versus China. And the whole angle... Going in, this match is just an angle. It's an okay women's match. Um, it's, I mean, it's bad because of the angle itself. I give it a two out of ten, but um, a two out of ten. This is just a, uh, it's an uneasy thing to watch because China, they're doing this whole broken neck injury angle with China, and we're only about a year and a half removed from draws. And she's acting like they're acting like she's paralyzed. It's just a bad angle, not worth, not 
not good. To, it's not good tasting, and it's quite frankly, it's a little too soon. This is a the one bad thing. This is like how I, this is like Undertaker versus Show Train from WrestleMania 19. It's the one thing that's keeping this show from being a top five greatest shows of all time. Next up. We have Kurt Angle defeating Triple H for the World Wrestling Federation title in a very good match. Another chapter in their long rivalry that they had throughout 2000 into the very early part. This is a great match. Stone Cold Steve Austin interferes and gets his heat back. This is a great match. And, uh, you know, I have to give it a couple of more higher parts because of the whole Triple H and... The whole Stephanie McMahon and Trish Stratus brawl that they had. Very fine. Very fine. Very fine match. I give it a 6 point. Actually, I give it a 7 out of 10. A very good match. Next up, we have Steve Austin winning the Royal Rumble match. In one of the best Royal Rumble matches, in my personal opinion. This is actually... If I have to go through all of the Royal Rumble matches and pinpoint the greatest. A lot of people say 1992, but I think I might have to give this one the edge. This is the finest Royal Rumble match out there. Five stars, a 10 out of 10. This is an awesome Royal Rumble match. The only downside is a very nitpicky. We get Drew Carey in the Hall of Fame because of this shit. I still give it a 10 out of 10. You have Kane eliminating 11 men. And not just 11 men. He also goes for 55 minutes. And that's something a 7 foot tall, 330 pound monster does not do. Because usually that's saved for your Shawn Michaels. Your, now your Dolph Ziggler's or your Chris Jericho's. Or you know people, your Rey Mysterio's. Your longevity guys. People like Kane do not go 55 fucking minutes in a Royal Rumble match. And he has one of his greatest... Actually, I'm going to say this. This is not only the greatest Royal Rumble match, but because Kane has such a strong presence in this Rumble match, I'm going to say that this is the greatest match that Kane has ever been a part of. Kane's greatest match is his performance in here. The Royal Rumble 11 eliminations and 55 minutes. But Stone Cold Steve Austin wins. Your final four was Steve Austin, The Rock, Kane, and Billy Gunn. This is a great match. Despite Drew Carey being in it. Uh, this one you can pinpoint four different parts. You have your beginning. And then you have your hardcore part. And then you have, you know, and then you have all the big stars coming in. And then once when Steve Austin gets beat up, that's your ending part. This is a fine match. A 5, a 10, 5-star five match. A 10 out of 10. Overall, Royal Rumble 2001 is one of the finest shows you're going to find out there. If it wasn't for Ivory versus China, my rating for this show would have been a 9.1 out of 10. And keep in mind, I review matches, I take all the matches, and I average them all out, and that's the overall rating. But because of that one match, even still, this show gets an astonishing 8.0 out of 10. An 8 out of 10, and that is a fantastic score from my review system. That is... That I get from We Are Pro Wrestling, by the way. This is a fantastic, that's a fantastic, fantastic rating. An 8 out of 10. And I'll catch you next time for WCW Super Brawl 11. Because I refuse to call it Super Brawl Revenge. And for the WF side, WWF, no way out. There ain't no easy way out. There ain't no short call. There ain't no easy way out. See ya. Bye.